I'm here with Brady Delamuth, the king of creative here at Wizards of the Coast. Brady, tell us what's going on when we return to Ravnica with this guy, Jace. So more with the 10 guilds. Uh, Ravnica is a world covered in city where 10 guilds buy for power and control. Jace has lived here since he was a teen. He was uh, removed from his home plane by suspicious circumstances. He ended up here. He fell in with the wrong crowd, let's say. He started working for Tezzeret, who had a, a sort of let's say a, a criminal cabal called uh, the Infinite Consortium. He confronted Tezzeret and defeated him, but now Jace has inherited those resources, and he knows that the guilds are going to destroy each other unless he does something. All so right. he's decided to try to figure out what's happening. All right, let's take a look at the trailer for Return to Ravnica. This is my city, my home. After years of searching, I've come to find a refuge from this life of endless turmoil. But of late, activities amongst the guilds of Ravnica has drawn my attention. The Azorius magistrates behave with impunity, imposing ever greater dictates upon the citizenry. While the back and all of Rakdos has taken on an added fervor, giving me pause in light of other guild activities such as those of the quietly powerful Selesnians, preparing themselves for something, and to what end. And the Golgari, providers of questionable sustenance. Their rot lies under the surface, for now. As for the Izzet, the mad thinkers, Ravnica's frenzied engineers, their activities have intensified, and more guilds remain. I sense another power at work. A potent mind I cannot identify. What force is at work here? And what does it mean for Ravnica? So lots of awesome stuff going on in that trailer. So much to get into with Brady here. Brady, what else can you tell us? What can you give away? Uh, so this, the curious mind that Jace has identified is, of course, the Draco genius Niv Mizzet. Uh, no one's sure whether Niv Mizzet is vain or brilliant or crazy, but he has set his guild resources about some crazy projects. Maybe they're wild goose chases, or maybe there's a pattern, and it's Jace's job to find out what it might be. Well, Jace, as we know, is the architect of thought, so he's well set up to find out what's going on here on Raptor. I'm here with Jeremy Jarvis, the art director at Wizards of the Coast. Jeremy, tell us about the challenge of pulling together 10 guilds for one city. Well, a lot of the heavy lifting was already done in the original block. So the challenge, which is similar to Scars of Mirrodin, when we go back to an existing plane, is to take what worked, take what was successful, take what we believed could be more successful, and expand on it. So. Uh, you know, we took the kernels, the things that were seeded in the original block, and uh, just basically expanded on them and uh, added depth and uh, hopefully more resonance for the players that are already fans and uh, delivered on expectations. Obviously, we want all the guilds to be equally awesome, but maybe some guilds are more equally awesome than others. And uh, what's this we see on you? Well, so they're all equally awesome now. Uh, there were things that various members of Created wanted to fix or augment. For example, uh, the Rakdo sense of carnival with mayhem. We wanted to push that visually or give Golgari more of a place within uh, not just talking about its job function, but finding ways to uh, show where they inhabit and what they do. So, uh, yeah, we took it case by case. Case by case, guild by guild, amazing artwork wherever you look all the way around Ravnica. I'm here with the artist legend that is Matt Cavossa. And Matt, you were around the first time when we went to Ravnica. Tell us about the challenges of putting 10 entire guilds together first time around. Well, all of the creative was pretty much born from the idea of taking two color pairs and finding some of the common ground between those two colors and uh, 
bringing about some sort of guild personality from that common ground. Um, I think that we have come an extra step from that, uh, from that time up until right now, where now that we're approaching this the second time around, we've developed those guild personalities a step beyond what might have been the, the first more, um, more obvious and more uh, magic color pie related uh, creative. And, and let those guilds really breathe on their own. Sure, well let's talk about the return to Ravnica. You see our two t-shirts here. I'm wearing Azorius, Matt's wearing, what are yeah. you? Gruel. Gruel, goodness me, that's coming in gate crash. But there's no way that anyone could claim that we were the same guild at all, even if they know nothing about magic. How have you gone about doing that? Well, uh, last time around we created 10 unique guild symbols. Um, because at the time we kind of didn't really know what we had when we had it. We didn't know how much of an opportunity there would be for people to self-identify and to affiliate with these guilds. So this time around we wanted to tighten it up a little bit and really nail those symbols the way we knew we needed to because opportunities like this and your pin and this uh, awesome tattoo that I have, all of the things that allow people to say, look who I am, we wanted to make sure that was nailed really hard. Matt Cavotta, he is Gruel. Rich Hagen, I am Azorius. <laughs>